a big name in the Web3 and crypto space has come out calling XRP a scam and a Ponzi scheme, saying, hey, this house of cards is about to fall soon. CoffeeZilla shows how easy it is to scam the public out there. Wait until you hear his latest antic. And the crypto markets have been red for the last three days. Find out why next. Happy Monday, Crypto and Web 3 fans. Let's start it off with the heat map. It's redder than red. Why? But we're going to get to it. Bitcoin sitting at 22,924 ETH, 1636. XRP highlighted the show under that 40 cent mark. Very key point here. Sitting at 39.8, down 2.4% in the last 24 hours. Why is the market red? Well, I told you about this a few days ago. It's my Crypto Big Dates video. I published that on January 30th. It goes over situations like, boom, like this, that's right. Stock set to open lower as strong U.S. jobs report sparks rate hike worries. Talked about it in the video. So what actually happened? On Friday, U.S. economy created 517,000 jobs last month, almost three times what was expected, indicating that U.S. employment remained strong despite cooling economic activity. What's the next one? U.S. stocks point to a second day of loss on Monday after an unexpectedly strong jobs report have renewed worries about how high Jerome Powell and the Fed are gonna get and I'm not talking about the West Coast is the best coast how high I'm talking about interest rates ladies and that's right that video I brought up how jobs are gonna be important wages are gonna be important and a lot of you out there saying well wait a minute wait a minute good jobs data right more jobs higher wages year over year how is this bad for the market well think about this right Jerome Powell is trying to get rid of the whole supply and demand imbalance that we have Supply isn't being fixed with governments getting out of the way and companies producing more. They're just passing on the cost of the consumers. So Jerome Powell's like, yo, we'll crush demand. How can he crush demand if we have more jobs than what was expected, three times more, and wages now are at 4.4% year over year growth in January? So again, the rate hikes, which are meant to cool down demand, well, if people still have cash and if a lot of people still have jobs, that means businesses can keep charging more and people will be expected to pay it. So in this situation, right, Big Dates video, I talked about it, good economic data here is actually bad for the crypto markets. That's why we've been red the last several days. And let's take a quick look at the chart price of XRP and I've got it circled up on the screen. There you go, there's the action. From that report on Friday, we had a nice high rolling into it here. But then what happened? Well, you guys know exactly what happened. The market pulled back since then. Check out the three red candlesticks that we have had since the third when that data came out. But now let's get on to the main stories and then at the end, we're gonna talk about XRP being a Ponzi scam, falling like a house of cards. Who's spouting this stuff? Well, hold on tight, we'll get there. CoffeeZilla pays a thousand for an influencer to promote an NFT scam. A lot of us out there are fans of CoffeeZilla and he did a great job taking down Lou Gang and Logan Paul and his crypto zoo mess, which I decided not to do any videos on that. I probably should have considering every freaking YouTuber out there milked the teat of views with Lou Gang. But let's talk about what he did and how pathetic this is and this shows you out there what people will do for a dollar a mixed martial artist has been left embarrassed after being paid 1000 to promote an nft project dylan dennis was shilling a scam that coffeezilla created but here's the irony of the scam that he was shilling he was shilling an nft collection what was that collection called sours nft candies are moonbound literally spells Scam. Yep, and he promoted. The stunt was the mastermind of CoffeeZilla, and it helps to illustrate how many influencers out there could be tempted to promote shady altcoins and crypto collectibles with little to do diligence. As Coffee points out, it's also worrying that Dennis failed to use the ad hashtag for his since deleted post, and it helps followers understand that this is a paid promotion. All right, so CoffeeZilla paid this guy 1000 to promote an NFT project that literally spelled out scam. The funny thing is though, after all, minting one of the Sours NFTs directs users to a page that asks the visitors whether they have been scammed by the MMA fighter in the past. So again, CoffeeZilla going out there to show you that number one, these influencers do not care. They will get paid to screw you over left and right. That's why the only promotion I ever took was a stellar partner ecosystem promotion. 
But the other thing he wants to show you out there is people are not doing their due diligence regarding their research of projects. Definitely, definitely, definitely spend a lot of time out there researching any project that you want to get involved with or and projects that you are currently involved with. But how pathetic is that? That this fighter out there can promote a project, it literally spells scam, and then at the end of it, once you mint the NFT, it says, hey, have you ever been scammed by this MMA fighter? This was a good exercise to show how messed up the influencer side of things are and how little due diligence people are taking out there. Layoff season, layoff season continues with Filecoin. Yes, everyone. Filecoin Protocol Labs cuts 21% of staff. Crypto winner is not over. Protocol Labs, the company behind decentralized file storage network Filecoin, is laying off 21% of its staff. That's a pretty big chunk. CEO Juan Bennett announced in a blog he's excited extremely challenging economic downturn, particularly for companies in crypto spaces, the reason behind the cuts. And again, if you ever wanted an excuse to lay off your staff, just say extremely challenging conditions. That's what the crypto players have had to say. A lot of them, what ended up happening was they just blew their budgets, their staffs, their marketing spend. They just blew it up too big, thinking that the boom would always continue, not that there would be some shrinkage. And shrinkage is bad, man, all right? Just telling you out there, shrinkage is bad. So what happened was, was after the boom, the market had a shrink now everyone is shrinking to actually meet the demand of the crypto consumers out there. But now onto the feature story. Here he is. I can't stand the guy personally. And let me know in the comments below how you feel about this individual. Craig Wright describes Ripple and XRP as a pyramid scheme, which will end soon. If you don't know who he is, he is the guy that says he is Satoshi. He is the creator of Bitcoin. I kid you not. The 53-year-old computer scientist made this claim on a tweet on Saturday. According to Wright, the XRP community is following the case filed by a Seychelles-based company, Tulip Trading, because it is aware of the outcome. Wright said this, describing Ripple and XRP as a pyramid scheme. Here's a quote from Wright. There is a reason why the XRP cultist army is following Tulip Trading case so closely. They completely understand that this will end the pyramid scheme that is Ripple and XRP. And I've got his tweets here. Why? Because as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. He goes on a long-winded rant of why he believes this. Anyways, this guy is off his rocker and basically saying, hey, look, if you're not Bitcoin, you suck. And honestly, he's been throwing a lot of shade at Ripple Labs and XRP holders. Him and David Schwartz have gone back and forth on Twitter quite heavily recently. And by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I will have that linked in the description below. So we got layoffs in the crypto space continuing as severe market conditions are causing more people to shrink their staffs and budgets to the appropriate size. Speaking of things shrinking, well, we had good U.S. economic data that came out regarding the number of jobs as well as wages being both positive. Now, because they're positive, that means there's more people who are working and they're getting paid more, which means they're able to pay the more prices that these companies are gouging us with here. It's not all supply chain. A lot of this is companies passing on expenses to you. So we have to be very careful here that Jerome Powell and the Fed don't raise rates too much and then cause a nasty recession down the road. CoffeeZilla goes out there, slams the crypto community by paying an MMA fighter 1000 to promote an NFT, which literally spelled out scam. That shows you how little due diligence his team did as well as the buyers of those NFTs and we've got Craig Wright out there just flaming Ripple Labs and XRP calling them a Ponzi scheme house of cards that are about to fail calling them scam this has been going on for a while in the Twitter sphere like I said find mine linked in the description below so you could join in on the conversation but what are your thoughts on all of these people going after XRP you're Craig Wright Buterin's done it plenty of times. Cardano, oh my God, how many opportunities has he taken? And the reason I think that these people are doing it is they're trying to knock down their biggest competitor, right? Ripple is getting so close to the top of that pyramid in the crypto web three space that people always wanna take down who's at the top of the pyramid. But let me know your thoughts down below on why all these people are calling Ripple Labs and XRP a Ponzi scheme. If you wanna learn more about what's happening in the crypto and web three space, check out this video right here. This right here is my second channel, which I'm going to start filming some of my training stuff on there, sharing that journey with you all. You're welcome to check that out. So now until more news breaks, you cool cats, have a great rest of your day.